Howdy folks, in this microbiology video we're going to be talking about broth to broth inoculations and broth to slant inoculations. With broth tubes, you will find a tube that has liquid inside, depending, and it, the media will vary. And with slant tubes, again the media will vary, but it's a semi-solid media that has been poured in and allowed to solidify it at an angle. It's no different, typically, than the media that you would likely find in a petri dish. Now. With these tubes, our gray tape tube is indicating where the bacteria would be coming from, and these are the tubes that we are going to want to inoculate in this demonstration. To do that, you want to make sure your Bunsen burner is on, get your inoculation loop from your tray on the side of your lab bench, and make sure that your loop is sterile. Again, pass it over the flames with the handle, get the stem bright red, followed by the loop to ensure that it's sterile, and keep it within the zone of uh, the flame so that you're not risking contamination while you're waiting for it to cool down. Once you're ready to make your broth to broth inoculation transfer, simply take both tubes into your hand and make sure that you have both tubes firmly within your hand such that the tube that you're going to be pulling from is between your finger and thumb and the tube, uh, the tube that you're going to be moving to is between your index finger and the middle finger. Now, with that, your inoculation loop has likely cooled down at this point. Keep your tubes at an angle so as to prevent any excess bacteria from the air simply falling into your tube. Pull the cap off with your pinky as such, flame the tube mouth, move your inoculation loop in just until you hit the liquid, swirl it around a little bit, being sure not to bump the handle against the side of the tube, and then remove. Flame the tube mouth, cap, and then you're going to grab the cap on the second tube, decap, flame, and bring the loop in. Get into liquid, swirl around a little bit, careful not to touch the handle to the side of the tube, pull it back out, flame, cap, set your tubes down, and sterilize. making sure the metal gets red hot. While you're waiting on it to cool, simply leave it within the zone of the flame. Once it cools, we're going to demonstrate how to do a broth to slant inoculation. So go ahead and get both tubes. Now with the slant, you're going to want to make sure that the slant itself is at an angle that you're going to be comfortable working with and inoculating from. What I like to do is make sure that the slant, once we have our hand at the angle, is going to be relatively horizontal. Okay. Now with both tubes in hand and my loop sterilized, we do the same thing. We grab the cap with our pinky, decap, sterilize the tube mouth, reach into our source tube, get our bacteria on our inoculation loop, sterilize the tube mouth, cap, decap the destination tube, flame the mouth, and then again, while you are reaching in with your inoculation loop, on that slant, find the horizontal and simply brush your inoculation loop across the surface very lightly. If you press hard into that slant, now again, flame the mouth, if you press hard in that slant, it is just media and you can gouge it and make it less useful of a media for the test. And then make sure you sterilize again. And that's how you transfer from a source bacterial tube 
into a broth or into a slant.